The Fox 44 Weather Forecast with Weather Rage Certified Meteorologist Emily Kay. Hey, good Thursday evening, everyone. Well, here comes the rain and here comes the cooler temperatures. We're seeing snow off near Amarillo, but here in central Texas, just seeing showers and storms. Not going to be that cold, but as the cold front does move through, we're going to drop all the way down into the 40s for most of us. So, for here, it's actually going to be pretty chilly. If we take a closer look at the radar here in central Texas, those showers and storms creeping into Waco right now, most of them not producing any lightning, but we did hear some rumbles of thunder here not too long ago at the station. So, the storm coming into Waco. Has been producing some lightning, not too much overall. Nothing really to be concerned about over, as far as these storms go for the rest of the night. All we really need to watch is the heavy rainfall. Temperatures right now in Waco starting to drop down to about 65 degrees. That's because that front's starting to move through. Now, if you remember a few minutes ago, those temperatures were in the 70s. Temple seeing those temperatures in the lower 80s. Not for long, though, once that cold front starts to move through, dropping down into the 60s and then eventually into the 50s and then finally dropping all the way down into the 40s. And as we go throughout the rest of the night, the cold front moving through, winds will shift from the south like they are off to the east to the north like they are off to the west. And most of those uh, winds bring our dew points down into the 50s and even into the 40s. So it's going to feel pretty good out there. That future cast, again, that cold front moving through through the rest of the evening, those showers and storms sticking around into midnight, going to be kind of, a, kind of a rainy evening for most of us. And those temperatures, again, dropping down into the upper 40s around midnight, waking up to those temperatures in the 40s by tomorrow morning, mostly cloudy skies for all of us. Most of that rain moving out by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. Any rain that we will be seeing tomorrow will be very early on. And as we go throughout the rest of the day on Friday, those temperatures warming up into the upper 40s, lower 50s, mostly cloudy skies throughout the rest of the day on Friday. So it's going to be a chilly and cloudy day on Friday, but overall, not much rain to be worried about for your Friday. You can leave the rain gear at home. It's just going to be a little dreary out there and a little chilly. But as we get into Saturday, temperatures waking up to those temperatures in the upper 40s, lower 50s, mostly cloudy skies to start off your day. As we get into the afternoon, though, those clouds moving out. And once the sun comes back out, we'll start to warm up into the lower 60s and then eventually into the mid 60s. So Saturday afternoon, looking pretty nice with those mostly sunny skies. And we'll be seeing mostly sunny skies as we go in into next week. But overall, tonight, temperatures dropping down into the upper 40s. That 70% chance of showers cooling down overnight tonight, so not too nice of a night. Tomorrow, not too nice of a day. Those mostly cloudy skies sticking around. Temperatures warming up or cooling down into the mid 50s. Most of us might not even reach the 50s with those mostly cloudy skies sticking around throughout the rest of your Friday. And that 40% chance of showers will be very early on in the day. Those will be the morning showers. But after Friday, that chance of rain starts to drop off. We'll see those mostly sunny skies going into Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, seeing those scattered showers, but those temperatures in the lower 70s. And that's going to be the same thing for that seven-day forecast for Bryan College Station. Temperatures dropping down into the 50s tomorrow. 40% chance of rain in the morning. And then as we get into next week, mostly sunny skies. Those 20% chance of showers going to be for those scattered showers. But overall, not a washout next week. Actually going to be a pretty nice week once we get past Friday. Adam, back to you.